Hi, my name is Josh Burns, and today I'm going to show you how to create a normal map in uh, Element 3D that can be applied to the models you create. And so it's kind of confusing, but uh, once you do it once, it's really simple and a really great way to speed up your workflow and not have to leave After Effects to create a simple uh, normal map to add some extra texture and detail to your models. So you can see here it's been applied to the handle and uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, this is the gun model that I did in my previous tutorial. Uh, if you're interested in doing that, there's an annotation here and there'll also be a link in the description. So, all right, so first off, uh, all you have to do is create a new composition and uh, there's no need to make it uh, the same size or anything because it is gonna be quite small in this map because it's quite tight. Uh, it's a very small sort of checker type pattern or diamond uh, type pattern. So just make like a 500 by 500 probably work. Probably even less would work fine, but in this case it can be small, but uh, we'll just make it nice and big so it's easy to see what's going on. Okay, so 500 by 500, call it grip. There we go. Pretty basic. Go in, create a new solid, and then add element to the solid, and then add another solid. This is going to be the custom layer. There you go. And I just want a square on here, so just double click on the rectangle tool and create some masks. That's the full size. And then just want to add that to the element custom text and masks. So it knows that it can extrude this layer. Just add that in and then go into element. Okay, so first thing you want to do is extrude this out. So then you have your square here. And we want a diamond, but uh, it's actually just going to be outside. So, all right, so here is the square. So this is going to be a pretty aggressive bevel because it's going to be almost like a pyramid. So the thing to do here is on the extrusion model uh, level, you want to actually play with the bevel scale at this level because uh, if you increase it here, it'll make uh, basically all the increments when you're on in, in the actual bevel itself they'll all be much larger so uh, we'll be able to get to that uh, sort of pyramid shape very quickly first things first extrusion down to zero uh, we don't want it to be extruding at all we just want sort of the bevel detail that's that's the detail that we want in the normal map and then also in this case we want a, not a curve at all so the bevel curve down to zero so it's a nice straight bevel and then see how this would be much harder to get it to be this sort of pyramid shape but it was very easy and that's because we uh, change the value on the extrusion level first in the bevel scale. So there we are. This is sort of the diamond shape that uh, we're looking for. I guess I have to make this invisible. All right, now into element, uh, the group one, and we're gonna use a grid. And so it automatically creates our three by three by three. So instead of uh, three by three by three, we want three by three by one, because we don't need any depth, because we're not using that. So, and then I want to scale the actual uh, pyramid or checkered piece until we can see what's going on. Okay, and then just so they're touching like that. Uh, pretty simple. And you can already see sort of the shape that we're going for. Next thing you do, go into the rotation and give it a 45 degree turn. And this will put it into a diamond sort of shape. Okay, and you can see basically we have sort of the texture that we're looking for here. Uh, and the next thing you want to do is add a camera into the scene so that we can get it sort of positioned the way we want it. So make sure depth of field is turned off. And I'm going with a 200 millimeter because it will already have that sort of orthographic, very uh, flat, straight look. Not a lot of perspective because we want it to be looking very straight down. And so now just get close to it here. You can see it's not perfect, but on the edges here, just clip it off. And you have those little triangles in the corner. So just zoom in just a bit more. Good. Okay, and that's basically all there is to it. Oh, except you have to go back into Element, and under Output, at the very bottom, choose instead of Composite, choose Normal. And this is the sort of pastel colors that uh, if you've ever seen a normal map, you're familiar with. All right, so what we want to do is bring this into our main comp. 
There we go. Just make it invisible. And then you want to add it to your element layer. It has a custom texture in this case. So you can see I have the previous one in there, and that is the one that I had already on there. So it's not going to be that impressive because I'm going to be like, and now it's as simple as making it look like what it looked like already. But I'll still show you. All right, so now you can see on the texture of this handle, there is the map that I had created before. It's on there, so just choose the new map. Okay, and yeah, not much has changed, like I said. But uh, in here is where you get the different shape adjustments here. Change the UV repeat, and what you get there is you can kind of squash it or stretch it and that way you can start with a square map and you can create all kinds of different shapes so in this case I want sort of an elongated diamond shape so I just had it stretched or have fewer repeats so that creates that kind of a cool look there and the great thing is that it's all done in After Effects so you don't have to go and change your file in uh, Photoshop or do anything like that and or into a 3D program. And the other thing is it's on this composition. So if you make a change to that composition or animate that composition, for example, then your normal map is actually going to animate as well. So in this case, I'm not going to be showing that, but yeah, you could have it be animating if you really wanted to have it spin around it would create sort of a weird effect. You know, obviously not on a gun handle, but um, just imagine the different, all kinds of different things. I've actually done a similar technique and gotten a cool water effect. So yeah, there's there's lots of different things you can do. So uh, just to show you sort of the flexibility of it here, I'll delete this uh, pyramid and just bring in a basic sphere. And that'll be our map there. You can already see there it is. Normal's already turned on. And the only thing we have to add to this is the background layer because that black is not going to react properly as a normal map because you can see it's all those pastel colors. It doesn't have black in, in a normal map. So what you just want to do is add a new solid. Okay. And you want to grab the top color. So that's basically flat not on any angle at all, and then move it to the back. And so now we should have, we go back in, yep, go back in here, it's already updated. It's hard to see because it's, it's quite small, but when we go into element and adjust the size, because it's also elongated, so it's kind of like a, a tall egg shape or oval or something like that. But if we were to adjust the shape, you can sort of see it already. It has those sort of bumps on it as opposed to the diamond that was there before. Okay, so now just make these values equal so that you get back to the nice round circle. And there you go. So it kind of has the, the bump look to it, as opposed to the diamond cut from before. But it was all done right inside After Effects. You just go and change the comp. Maybe you don't like the grip anymore. Maybe you want to do something else. So in this case, just make it a little bit smaller. So you have those nice little fine uh, bumps along there. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's pretty easy, like I said, but it's a great way to add that extra level of detail to your composition. And uh, yeah, and don't stop here. There's tons you can do with these normal maps to add this extra level of detail to your uh, composition and to your models that you're creating in Element 3D. So there you have it. Normal maps created in Element for Element. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to see a video response of some of the stuff you've been creating in Element or in Photoshop or anything. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Josh Burns.